Niagara on the Lake, and I want to give you a little bit of backstory on why this hotel is haunted. So, Niagara on the Lake was the original um, capital of Upper Canada, um, and during the War of 1812, the Americans uh, came in and um, attacked Niagara on the Lake and burned the whole town down. Um, so, that's a little bit of backstory. So, I'm going to go more in depth on actually who is haunting um, the hotel. So, um, it is said that uh, the, a lady, her name is Molly McGuire, um, and she was, so on this land, before the hotel was built, there was a house, and the Americans came in, and they were like sweeping the house, like one soldier, American soldier came in, and was sweeping the house, and um, he had saw a shadow in the window in the second story, and he went up there to see who it was, um, he mistaken Molly for a British uh, soldier, and she was stabbed to death and died. So it is said that actually that Molly haunts room 207, and she's also seen in the lobby of the hotel. And we were able to actually get room 207. So tonight we are just going to see if we can catch any evidence. I also have some little balls I place around the room. If there's anyone here, do you think you can actually either move the ball, or do you think you can light it up by tapping it? Yeah, they are my balls. Not really, but you know. Okay guys, so in this footage you're about to see, there is an orb that does fly down towards the bed, and then there's another one that flies up near the top. Um, it goes kind of towards the left. Um, I found this really quite interesting, so I did uh, do a replay of this uh, scene, and I also lighting up the screen so you would be able to see a little bit more clear. Uh, so please let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Okay guys, so um, in this video you'll see the K2 meter spike and then you'll see an orb uh, seem to fly out of the K2 meter. Um, I find this really, really interesting. Is it paranormal? Who knows, but I find it extremely weird. Paranormal. I am here at the Old Angel Inn in Niagara on the Lake, Ontario. So this inn was built in 1789. It is one of the oldest pubs in Ontario. So during the War of 1812, this building actually was burnt to the ground. So it was rebuilt in 1815, um, and it's been known to be haunted. The earliest encounters have been since the 1820s. So what makes this inn haunted is that. Um, during the War of 1812, there was a soldier called uh, Captain Colin Swayze. Um, he was running away from the Americans. Um, he ran into the, this building, the Old Angel Inn, and he ran into the basement and hid it in a wine barrel or a whiskey barrel. And the American soldiers chased after him, and actually, when they did find him, he was in the barrel, and they stabbed him to death with bayonets. So he is said to haunt um, this, this inn. So, there's also, um, they have said that they've heard children running in the hallways, um, and there's also, um, in particular, there's a spirit that uh, haunts the girls' washroom. I know that sounds funny, but um, he likes, or she, but they think it's a he, uh, grabs the ankles of the women in the washroom, and the washroom is actually in the cellar. I definitely would love it if you could talk to us. another piece of equipment you can talk to or talk through if you can see this talk through if you can see this Quidditch Quidditch is that Harry Potter? <laughs> this room guys I, I can't even like I don't know look just go shoot in there 
Guys, I don't understand. I feel so heavy in that room and uneasy. I didn't even feel uneasy. I didn't even feel uneasy in the in the cellar, which was like, oh my gosh, okay. Okay, guys, I wanted to mention, I'm, like, watching back this footage, and I still feel that heaviness in my chest. I do not know what's with this room, but I am 100% going uh, back to it. Like, back to this location. 100%. So, um, 
I'm here with a candle and a box of matches. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually light the candle. Um, we're going to do an EVP recorder session, but also we'll videotape it. Um, so you can hear a scream. So um, part of the local legend is that uh, when uh, a candle or a match is lit, you'll hear a scream and the can or the match will blow out. So I thought it'd be fun to try to test this out, see if we hear anything. Mind you, there is a lot of background noise, so we'll see, but you never know. So if you want to start the recorder. Okay, so here I go, guys. Okay. Is there anyone here? Is there a little girl here? Did you die in this tunnel? Is there anyone here? My name is, my name is Cassie and this is Reese. Can you tell us your name? Can you blow out the candle? Mm. <laughs> Can you blow out the candle? Can you blow out the candle? I'm gonna brave it. I'm not gonna be at the end of the tunnel though. Because <laughs> um, I'm a. Because um, I'm a. Like, um, go 
Is this tunnel haunted? Haunting. Is this tunnel haunted? Cassie. Yeah? We're about to die. Battery's about to die. So I'm going to shut it off and let Cassie know. Battery's about to die. So I'm going to shut it off and let Cassie know. You probably said you touched the back. Oh my god! Cassie, sorry, sorry. The camera was going to die. Oh my god. Okay, I had to turn it off. So is I wanted to... What happened in this tunnel? Oh. Okay. That felt like something like touched the back of my neck again. Ugh. Neck again. Ugh. Um, there, this was also a battleground, uh, the Battle of Snake Hill, uh, during the War of 1812, and uh, also, obviously, a lot of stuff happened at the music park. There were some uh, kids uh, that died on a ride um, at the, the music park too. So we're just here to see if we can catch any evidence of any paranormal. Um, so come along for the journey. Oh boy, I actually was uh, the ride like threw him in the water and then he drowned. I just said, like, help me. That did sound like that, didn't it? Yeah. from Weeping Willow Paranormal. We're here at River Rapids Inn in Niagara Falls, Ontario. We are like two minutes from Niagara Falls, so it's a really cool location. Um, this building um, is four stories and it has 90 rooms. So it's said to actually be haunted. The fourth floor is haunted um, by a ghost of the employees called Junior. And he is said to steal items and things go missing all the time. So that's kind of cool. And also uh, people have seen uh, like dark shadows around the building. Um, so we're here to investigate to see if we can uh, bring any evidence to um, 
uh, the sea, or bring any evidence to uh, see if this place is haunted. So stay tuned, guys, for this adventure. Okay, guys, I sold this down. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but there is some type of orb that floats across the screen. What do you guys think? Bob. Holy crap. It's like a bunch of like, so weird. A bunch of like noises, like back, 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 back. So if there's anyone here with us, is your name Mark? Is there any children play, that like to play in this hallway? Or in the rooms? I mean, I creak. Was it that? No, no, it, 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 it was a woo. It wasn't a creak. It, it was a woo. No, I didn't mean Fancy. Even... Fancy. I know, it is a fancy tro toy. One guy goes woo. Okay, so like, I did this. Yeah, no, it, it was a woo. You can touch the cat ball. You can touch the cat ball. 